book instead of five half, half a million, it tells what's happening with hundred thousand dollars. But in reality, I have, but I can use only ninety-eight percent, and two percent of the money goes for the points. So the total of my loan is hundred thousand. Hundred percent. Which means what? We need to have an additive relationship. The percentages that the bank is keeping from the money of the loan that I have to pay, plus the amount of the available funds that I have to pay back is the total amount of the loan. And I don't go with whatever the book tells me, but I know that I need half a million dollars to have for that particular loan. But half a million dollars is not the total amount I need, is 98% of the money that I need. Then I have to find out one unknown factor, how much is going to be the amount of money that go for the points. And second unknown factor, how much is the total amount of the loan that I will have? In that case that you have in the book, Y1. How much is going to be the money that goes for the 2%? Y2. How much is the total amount of money that I will have to get the loans? It's a very simple case. If I ask anyone, from Asia, Europe, or Africa, they would say they learned that stuff in their fifth grade in elementary school. They call it the simple methods of the three. Why? I'm changing colors. And I'm done in a minute. Because in every case, I deal with three known factors. And from the three known factors, I want to have the fourth. Is this clear? I know the two and, I, and the three, and I want to get the fourth. How do I get it? Actually, we have a relationship. What is the relationship? A ratio. Give me a sec, I don't have time. And if I have two ratios, these ratios are equivalent, which means that they are equal. What do I have? On one side, I have a ratio of dollars. and the other side, I have a ratio of percentages. What is the result? Dollars or percentages? I'm writing it here. I have a dollar to be equal to percentage related to percentage. And I don't know what is this one. What is happening? If I relate percentage to percentage, this is cancel out and I have a clear number which means the result is a dollar. And I want to know what is that particular dollar. What do I have? I have ratios that are equal. What do I know? That equal ratios can be turned to another equivalency if I would cross multiply what is happening here. I'm writing with blue, what do I know? I know what is A, I know what is B, and I know what is C. I don't know what is X. I don't know what is X. That's the dollars that I need to evaluate. These dollars are the dollars that they will go for the bank. How do I know it? 
I know that x multiplied with c is equal to a multiplied by b. I turn equality of ratios to equality of products. And I want to find what is x. What do I need to do? I need to turn to another equality. I divide both parts with C, and C cancels out from here. So what I have, what is my unknown, is equal to A multiplied by D and divided by C. These are all numbers. As a result, I get this number. What is this number? That's the dollar. What is this dollar? The dollar that I need to pay for my points. Then I go on to the next case. The next case is I need to pay the total amount loan. I need to find out what is the total amount of loan. What is the difference here? This is D. Instead of B, I have a D. Instead of B, I have a D. Instead of B, I have a D. I have another calculation. And that's the total amount that I need to borrow so I can have my principal. Is this clear? Good. That's a different process, the opposite process of what the book says and the book does it in a way that it gives you more zigzag road to go on and do it. That's the most simple way to have it.